Hey guys, how you doing? Um, hopefully this will record. Um, I've got a few videos I need to upload, which I'm going to try and do this afternoon. Um, ones that I record at the weekend, obviously my way in for Monday as well. Um, obviously you know that I got on with that because I um, uh, I told you, well actually you don't know because I haven't uploaded the video yet, but hopefully when you before you watch this one you'll see it. Um, you'll know how I got on in my weight loss. And um, I lost uh, five pounds last week, so I'm down nine pounds on uh, the two weeks I've been doing uh, this new new me, <laughs> um, a new healthier me. Um, I'm not going to. Um, I, I set myself a pound. What I've done, I sort of laid out on the spreadsheet, so I've laid it out sort of like roughly how much I would like to lose. Um, obviously my goal for this month was £12 because I'm 18 stone 12 I just want to get rid of the £12 this month um, that's my goal but I um, so I'm, I'm only £3 away from that now because I was 18 stone 12 when I started obviously I've lost 9 so um, I'll be happy with a pound this week if I can get the £3 off or the £2 off that'd be great um, I don't know I'm just not feeling confident about this week I was surprised about it last week but um, the scales were a bit around sort of 3 or 4 18 stone 3, 18 stone 4, that sort of stuff. And I weighed myself a couple of times, it came out in stone 3, so ran it off. So I thought I'd take that. Um, so I've got a funny feeling I might be sort of maybe staying the same this week or maybe putting a pound. Um, I don't know why, because I mean, my diet's been fine this week, it's been no different to the other week, so it really shouldn't be. I don't know, I've just got a feeling in my bones, but we'll see. I mean, hopefully a pound would be. Uh, what I've set myself for and leaves me two pounds next week to get to see my to get my goal weight for the month. Um, but if I can get it all blow it away this month, uh, this week, then that'd be fantastic. But I'm not um, getting my hopes up. So I don't know. I don't know. It's feeling my bones. I can just tell. Um, uh, what was I gonna say yeah. Um, so today is Friday. Um, it's a bit weird talking to you, like obviously I haven't uploaded all my previous blogs yet. Um, but I will date them. So people know what what um oh excuse me itchy head uh, screen close up of my eye there so itchy eye um I've I've got um yeah, let's say a few blocks upload so you'll be seeing this one hopefully the last batch but I'll say I'll date them so you know exactly where we are um this week's been a bit of a a bummer um I won't go into too much obviously you knew I had a job interview last week. Um, which I thought really well. Um, was really pleased with it actually. I couldn't even just pick any bad spots out, so I, I really, was really happy with it. And um, but I found out sort of on Wednesday, I didn't get the job. Um, I know it was two or three people that were going for it as well as me, uh, so I don't know. Maybe more experience, so I'm not sure. But um, I didn't get it, so um, yeah. Hopefully, I'll speak to the lady today to find out why. Um, we're trying to speak to her a couple of days, um, but I don't know. It's a difficult one. Uh, I'm just gutted about it. Um, I'm trying to sort of, sort of last year that this happened and when all the, the losing my job happened, I kind of went into a, uh, a little bit of a shell and wallowed in a little bit of self pity and as you do. But um, I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to be positive uh, this time round um, because you know at the end of the day um, <laughs> I'm gutted because it was a job. That I thought I'd be good at, and a job that I thought um, I'd be able to to do okay, um, do well at. Uh, but I'm, yeah, so in a way, I haven't lost anything. So I haven't got a job, but I haven't gained anything either when I, when I really want a job. So it sounds stupid, but I'm trying to be positive because I know there's better stuff out there for. I'm not say better stuff. There's other stuff out there for me. Uh, I've got another interview next week, next Wednesday, for another job in the ambulance industry with a company I've been sort of liaising with the last couple of months backwards and forwards about various jobs um, they wanted to put me forward for like more of a more experienced job but it's kind of sort of where I left my previous job it's kind of sort of left it a bit of limbo but there was a there was a job on the table uh, uh, initially for like a, a driving sort of job blue light driver and stuff like that so it doesn't pay like previous jobs though, but I mean it's a job and it's kind of a foot in, my, foot in the door in the company because uh, the company's one of the largest private ambulance firms in the uh, United, United Kingdom so um, it could lead to other stuff too um, and the, the actual rotor itself, the actual job it's a, it's a long, it's, it's like seven night shifts in a row um, and then you get seven days off and then seven night shifts and so it's only two weeks out of the 
for you're working for on a full time full time salary. So it gives me time to if I get the job, obviously it gives me time to um, reflect and and, and 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 pursue other things in those two weeks, in other two weeks. Um, but yeah, but that's that's next Wednesday. So there is a you know I'm trying to get my, not get my head drop. Um, trying to. Uh, you know, trying to keep positive um, and keep applying for jobs. Um, I've got a few other things on the cards as well. So, um, but I mean, by next Friday, by week today, I want to be able to interviews lined up for other jobs uh, or the job itself, temporary, because I, I need a job and and it's getting on for like five months, four or five months now, uh, officially. Um, uh, not, uh, you know, since the last time the animal service paid me. But it's been um, coming up to eight months since I actually worked. Um, I actually did a shift. Did I did a shift in the July? So it's been a long time. Um, and that's the thing. People are probably look at it and say, "Well, you know, you're not lucky." But I've got all this time to myself, and I'm doing stuff. And yeah, great. I mean, that's the reason why I said about the weight. There's no reason why I shouldn't be losing weight and going to the gym because there's no excuses. Um, last year I was trying to get a job as soon as I am now but while learning a bit more in self pity and, and, and letting everything get on top of me but this year I'm I'm not I'm you know getting the weight loss down regardless that's my goal and uh, the job will come with it secondly it's not going to be a, a one or the other prioritise one thing over the other thing or anything like that um, I'm you know hitting it 100% it's just the fact that there's no excuse for me there was no excuse for me last year since I let, lost, left the job or, or I lost my job to uh, wallow in self pity and, and, and not uh, pursue my weight loss or any other goals. It just kind of got on top of me a little bit and, you know, I'm not ashamed to admit that it did, but, you know, I'm kind of annoyed because I feel like I waste a couple of months just wallowing in pity and, and uh, you know, my girlfriend saw it at the time as well because I, I sort of kind of let myself go, not in a, in a weight sense, but like just, you know, unshaven and not bothered and. And you know, and it looks like I'm unshaven today, but that's, I shaved yesterday. My, my, my beard grows like, inordinately fast, so I will shave before I hit the gym later. Um, but yeah, I've been going to the gym in the mornings, like most mornings, and uh, when I drop my girlfriend off, because there's no excuse. I, I didn't. I was going to go this morning, but my muscle. I did the obviously I'm doing a, a marathon training plan, and uh, I'm this is two weeks into it now. And uh, Wednesday was uh, my strength day to do some exercises. And um, I'm still sore from it, my my but my arms are just ugh, yeah cane. So I put some I took some ibuprofen just to kind of kill it down, so I can go to the gym maybe three or four hours time and do my workout. My girlfriend was contemplating go for a run, but I think I'm just be too. I, I need to do my marathon training first and foremost, but we'll see what happens at the weekend. The weekend I'll be running as well, but but be in the gym or outside with my girlfriend. I don't know so. Yesterday I had a day off, um, still went healthy, but just had a day off from exercise, give myself a chance to recover. Um, yeah, so not a very exciting and cheerful uh, vlog from me, um, and it won't be, I must admit, until I get a job, it'll be, uh, <laughs> please stay tuned, because I want you to see walks and I want you to see my, you know, how I am now, and then how I am when I get a job, and how happy I am, and smiley, and dancing around. Um, obviously I'm really delighted with the weight loss nine pounds in two weeks is fantastic uh, and I'm cooking on gas there and that's going great and the, mar the training for the marathon is going fine as well um, aches and pains here and there but you know, generally I'm pretty pleased I'm just getting out there and doing it which is like, the most, thing, most important thing the most um, happy the thing I'm happy with most of all is I'm getting there and doing it um, but yeah, nothing really else to report really. Uh, this has been a bit of a down week so far. Um, hopefully, better things, better things next week, and hopefully, start the day off with a positive weight loss on Monday. This week obviously started off great with the weight loss on Monday, but you know, find out I didn't get the job, and you know, it's a little bit deflating. I must admit, um, kind of at times sort of makes you quick, sort of question, makes you question yourself, and think, you know, am I good enough? I don't know. It, I must have been yesterday. I was a bit fed up. The first day, I was pretty fed up. I was taking out my frustration on you know, idiots on the road, and you know. <laughs> but um, 
My girlfriend can see that. I, I, yeah, I don't take it out on her or anything like that. I try not to. I, I came across as a miserable git, but she's very understanding and very, very supportive. Um, and like I said, last year I probably would have done just moan, 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 but this year I've, I've just got to get on with it. I can't really get any better. It's not going to change anything because I haven't got a job, so it doesn't really make a difference if I don't get jobs or, or whatnot. If I don't get them, I don't get them. It's not going to change. So um, I just need to put it back in my head and just uh, move on. But yeah, we'll get there. Don't worry, I'm sure of that. 100% sure. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else to report that back. Diet's fine, exercise is fine. No. Like I say, as soon as I get the job, a job, it'll be a catalyst for so many things. Um, yeah, it is a very important thing. It is just getting out to work. At the moment, I'm here at home or my girlfriends and stuff which is all good but it's not yeah I'd much rather be grafting I'm a, I'm a grafter I, I like to work um, I've never been out of work um, I mean I've, I've done part time stuff when I've been at college but obviously at college I'm still studying I've never been not without work um, this is what really sort of upsets me the most because I, I do like to work I'm not a lazy git um, and I'm quite happy to sit my ass doing nothing I, I want to be out there grafting it's just unfortunate I can't get to get anyone to allow me to do that, but oh well. Anyway, I'm sorry. Eleven minutes of pure, nearly twelve minutes of pure uh, rubbish and down crap. But you know, you got to see this sort of side of me to appreciate the good side of me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll get there. Don't worry. I'll uh, we'll sort something. Don't worry. We'll be fine. Um, I hope you're doing really well whatever exercise regime you're on and you know, keep positive I do plan to make this uh, no, yeah I did say about this job um, being the catalyst for lots of things uh, obviously that's my priority at the moment that and my weight loss is you know, my main jobs um, but as you can appreciate my vlogs are a bit sporadic and my blogs are definitely sporadic so I haven't done one for a few weeks or a month or so I reckon so um, I want to get back into that and, and doing these more regularly uh, with the blog, I'm going to do a summary of the last couple of months just so people can be up to speed because you know, not much has happened apart from my weight loss. Um, and uh, you know, we go from there. I want to do these more regularly, I really do, um, and, and bring you more exciting things. But at the moment, because my life just revolves around me getting a job, and, and, and I bring you the weigh ins and stuff like that, but they're the two most, <laughs> they're just me at the moment. There's nothing else exciting, there's no work to report back about, um, there's no, you know. There's nothing exciting to report back. So you, some of you might say, what's the point in doing a vlog in the first place? Because why am I going to watch it? But yeah, that's right. But I mean, like I said at the beginning when I did all this, it's, it's purely for my documentation mainly and also to um, have evidence of everything. I want to look back in a year's time and look at me and go, oh my God, you know, you're such a depressive, boring person. And, 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 and so, yeah, things were, weren't going his way. Well and, 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 and just look at where I am in a year's time and say he's completely changed. Both physically, mentally, spiritually, um, educationally, everything, um, in relationships and everything, you know. So the whole caboodle. But they will get better. I'm going to try and do these more regularly. I really, really am. But I just need to get a job first. Once I get my job first, I'll be cocky. I'll be dancing through the air, and um, everything will come together. Anyway, I'll speak to you soon, guys. Take care, and um, let me know in the comments below. Any support you can give me, that'd be great. Um, I'll speak to you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.